Hey, what's up, fam? Thank y'all for tuning in once again. As always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so every time I drop a video, you will be the first to know about it. So it seems like Kamala Harris has run a file of a sheriff in California for using his likeness in the ad that he does not approve of. Matter of fact, he doesn't approve of your vice president. But let's go ahead and get into this story. This is from MSN.com by way of the New York Post and the Reeks. California sheriff... Sheriff used in Kamala campaign ad says he doesn't endorse Harris, who did nothing to halt border crossings and cartels. Now, we know Kamala Harris, you're the vice president. Remember, you was no what was she, the border czar these last three and a half, almost four years. <clears throat> and we see that it's got us as American citizens. But let's get to the story first and then we'll. You know, I get to my details and stuff later. It says the California sheriff blasted Vice President Kamala Harris campaign on Tuesday for using his likeness in a new ad without his permission, adding that he doesn't endorse the Democratic presidential nominee because she did nothing to stop people from illegally crossing the border. We can vouch for that down here in Texas, which is why our great governor, Greg Abbott, has shipped so many illegal migrants up to the sanctuary cities. Democratic and blue cities so they can deal with it because I mean, let's just be honest. If we kept them all, Texas would just be a wasteland right now because it's not enough money for one state to handle all those people. He's shipping them to like three, four, five, six different uh, sanctuary cities. So shout out to Gre uh, Governor Greg Abbott on using that, using common sense to, hey, Send them, send them. What's the what's the what's the saying? Go where you're uh, like, not where you're tolerated, or what something like that. Celebrate. Go where you're celebrated, not not where you're tolerated. So, illegal migrants, you are celebrated in the sanctuary cities. Quote: In light of a recent political ad put out by Kamala Harris featuring Sheriff Boudreaux, as well as other law enforcement local law enforcement, the sheriff wants to make it abundantly clear that his image is being used without his permission. He does not endorse Harris for president or any other political office. Uh, Tolera County Sheriff Mike Boudreaux told Fox News in a statement. The truth is, Harris never cared about the, the cartels and did nothing to stop people from illegally crossing the border. Boudreaux fires back. The Tulare County Sheriff appears briefly in the TV ad as a narr as a narrator reads, Kamala Harris has spent decades fighting violent crimes as a border state prosecutor. She took on drug cartels and jail gang members for smuggling weapons and drugs across the border. That's my presidential ad campaign voice. If anybody ever wants to hire me to do your ad campaigns, give me a holler. Soul on the soil at gmail.com. A, spokes, a spokeswoman for the Tulare Sheriff County's office confirmed the statement to the Post before adding, Sheriff Boudreaux vehemently opposes the use of his image in a political ad promoting Kamala Harris. Boudreaux, who served in a county who's who served in a county's law enforcement office for nearly 40 years, said that said that claim was misleading and that Harris's appearance alongside him and other law enforcement officials when she was serving as California Attorney General was smoke and mirrors. The ad shows her brief trip to the Central Valley in 2014. That's 10 years ago. So you do an ad and it's based on what you did, well, where you were and what you were doing 10 years ago? 10 years ago, some things I thought differently on some things that I do now. I'm just saying that people evolve, revolve over time. So I'm just wondering like why you use something that was 10 years ago, but you think you tried to deceive the people as to thinking it may be something more recent and it's not. Uh, uh, the ad shows a brief trip to, uh, like I said, the Central Valley in 2014, touting a year long investigation into a multinational drug operation with ties to Mexican drug cartels and prison gangs. He noted <clears throat> later, the narrator also promised will, hired thousands more border agents and cracked down on fentanyl and human trafficking, which Boudreaux said completely makes us mad. <clears throat> How can you go in and promote that you were the, you were this tight border person when all the troops are coming across the border and you literally are eliminating all these task force. He asked 
Tulare County District Attorney Tim Ward, who is included in the footage too, also slammed Harris and told Fox News her hypocrisy knows no boundaries. Hey, there's a whole big hype right now with Kamala Harris running for president. We know it. It could get some people maybe afraid, nervous, or what have you. Now, I've come to the realization recently, you know, I've, I've been gone from YouTube by a little over a week. Got a little time away, a little time to think, clear my mind, <clears throat> dealing with some other things. And... <clears throat> And I come to realize that it's a good possibility that I may not vote for the president in this election. If I do, it's, I, I'm going to have to see what Robert F. Kennedy is talking about, like seriously. Because, I mean, shoot, because I, well, let's say about Kamala Harris. I don't. What, 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 the reason why I wouldn't vote Democrat right now, even if they did everything that people have asked them to do for the last three and a half years, even if they did it, I wouldn't vote for them. And I said that before because you're only doing it for votes. Cause if you can do that, then that means the quicker you put it in, the quicker you can take it away. And I don't trust that. And you're going on, you're going out here campaigning about things that you're going to do, but you are already in office. I don't get it. I don't understand how that works. How can you? And the first thing y'all say is, you know who's holding us back, huh? You know who? It's a Republican part of the Senate or Congress. Like, what are you talking about? I've seen this man do executive orders all over the place. But when it comes to certain things like the border, you got to. And, and it's not that the Republicans don't. So you can't let these Democrats fool you. It's not that the Republicans don't want the borders secure and closed. It's that when you create these laws, you put all these other little sub laws behind it to where they're like, don't, no, don't add giving money to Ukraine to stopping the border. No, let's keep that separately. And no, y'all want to put in there. So like, well, no, we're not passing it. And it's like, up, oh, see, y'all don't want to close the borders. I, that's why I don't, I said, if I had a second career and I said it once and I said it a thousand times, it had been either in uh, finance or, or or law, constitution law for sure, because or just law. Like said, so yeah, yeah, constitution law because law is intriguing and it's frustrating because you don't know what's going on and you know something's going on and they tell you things and you just supposed to believe it. And I've never been a person who just believe what somebody tell me. So those, like I said, those two, like I said, so law for definitely I want to get into because it just some things. From on on the surface level, it don't make sense. So if it don't make sense, man, I ain't gonna. I, I, I can't. I can't back it. Let's see what he said. He said we were in the green room. She never came in. Oh, hold on. Boydro further recalls that Harris didn't even say hello to any of us as she smiled for the cameras and took credit for the drug bust. We were in the green room. She never came in and said hello to any of us. She walked up front, gave her press, literally walked out, never said hi to any of us. He said. I'm disgusted because, you know, she didn't shake hands. She didn't say hello. And she's taking credit for all this work that the locals did. Don't you just hate that? Don't you just hate that doing a job, being on a job, and you come with all these ideas, you know, get to get get your work area all in shape and in order. Everything's running smoothly. And then your supervisor take all the credit. Don't you just hate that? Oh, my gosh. Ah. That's why I just need to have our own business. ABC 30 in Danuba reported at the time that 11 people were arrested, including the suspected kingpin Jose Magana or Magana, and authorities seized nearly 950 marijuana plants, four kilos of cocaine, and 52 pounds of meth. Harris used the occasion to demand from then California Governor Jerry Brown an increase of $7.5 million in funding to her law enforcement budget for cracking down on drug trafficking statewide, really. As vice president, however, she has expressed that nobody should have to go to jail for smoking weed and approve the president's body and signing off on dozens of pardons for those sentenced to federal prison for drug-related crimes. Yeah, you want to clap for that. Like, oh my gosh, she, she, she did something. But... I'm not saying I don't, don't take this wrong, but I don't care about what, what about pardon criminals. 
I mean, how little, how big it is. I mean, if you do something wrong and if it's, you know, you do time and if it's warranted, don't get give over excessive time. Like, you know, they said that she did that, that the the Supreme courts made her release or the governor of Supreme courts one made her release prisoners that she was keeping in jail longer than they supposed to, because she didn't want to get rid of the prison labor because it was free and it was saving, you know, the state a lot of money and making a lot of money all, you know, at the same time. But that's neither here nor there. In April, Harris teamed up with Kamala Harris. I mean, no, my bad. With Kim Kardashian at the White House to celebrate some of those clemencies, including several ex cons who had cocaine or crack convictions, as well as others sentenced for methamphetamine distribution and heroin possession. Man, that's this some dangerous. Why the hell would you pardon people who dealing in them drugs? We have pardoned all people of federal convictions for simple marijuana possession. Harris boasted at the event. None of those pardons were for people still behind bars. Though, in a congressional estimate recently showed that roughly 2,700 are still federally incarcerated for pot-related offenses. So you just pardon people that's not even in jail no more. So it don't even matter no more. They pretty much live their life doing what they want to. Probably too old to get a job anywhere except as a Walmart door greeter. But you think you're doing something. The Harris TV spot launched on August 9th. Reps for her campaign did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Boudreaux ran as a Republican in the May special election to replace retiring Representative Kevin McCarthy in California's 20th congressional district just seven months after McCarthy had been ousted as House Speaker. So here's the thing. We know that Kamala Harris' record as a DA or attorney general, whatever she was, is not stellar. You can go on the channel, I believe it's Art to Dialogue. He's interviewing a young brother who said that he was wrongly convicted by Kamala Harris and that she laughed, I guess, at his situation when he was being convicted, although he know he was claiming his innocence. And she didn't care. And she don't care. But here's a question to all you Harris hopefuls. Does it not seem strange or odd that she's talking about her new campaigns about hiring thousands or more like border patrol agents and going to close the border? Something about that seems like a lie because right now you are either you are either you're either lying or you are going against your boss, which is Joe Biden, who they say is still a president, but nobody's really seen him doing too much presidential stuff lately. And when they do see him out and about, he look like he's lost, like a deer in the hell, like, like he's lost, which I'm quite sure his mind, if his mind wasn't gone before this campaign, it's definitely going now because he got all these people at him you know, telling him to, you know, drop out of the race. Probably some of his closest friends, families telling him to do something he didn't want to do. He probably feel betrayed. And a lot of times people understand, man, stress and stuff that go in your mind, man, it, it, it weighs on you and, and, and it affects you to the point that you might start losing cognition, especially at that age. And you worry about what you're going to do after the fact and all that kind of stuff. So it's just something to think about. But again, Aren't you going against the very person that that's like that that you were his vice president and he is opening borders, letting asylum seekers in by the hundreds of thousands, by the millions, and you sit idly by and back them, not idly by, actually backing them and supporting it. But now all of a sudden you're about to go Trump and say you're gonna close the borders. Well, Trump's my deporting people. That's another story. But you're talking about closing the borders and hiring more troops when it's something that the Republicans have been saying all along, but know what y'all going to say? It's the Republicans. The reason why we ain't doing it now. No, again, I've already explained it a few minutes ago. Why it's not being done. It's just a, it's just a sham. It's just some bull crap, but it is what it is. So that's why I'm like, you can't trust. I, that's why I would say you can't trust the Democrats because you got a woman running and trying to do things against what's going on right now. So wouldn't that put her and Biden at odds? Now, remember, she did say that Biden was a 
was an extreme racist back back when she first tried to run for president a few years ago. So don't get out in 2019. So don't get all that twisted like thinking they're all friends and smile at each other's face. Politics is politics. Business is business. You want to win, you do what's best for your campaign in that period. But this is, I mean, hey, this is jacked up. This is, I mean, this is this is what you expect with a lot of politicians. They're gonna use people's likeness, they're gonna try to use certain videos, certain, you know, looks, certain things trying to build up to pump up, you know, send their votes and this and the third. So Hey, but they got to do a lot. They only got like a few days. So they just, they got to do a whole lot. They can't have, and they don't have time for people to vet and edit and check, check sources and stuff like that. But you got to run with it. Cause you got, like I said, just a few days until, I mean, a couple of months, but still a matter of time before the election. But anyway, tell me what you think about this story. Leave your comments below, share it with the world, man. Let's have some dialogue. You know how we do around here. Hey, don't forget to, su to support the channel by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. All four ways cost you nothing but maybe a couple minutes out of your day, but it means the world to us here. Uh, also, but if you want to support financially, you can get super thanks, super chats, or go to the description box. The links there you can click on to where you can, you know, support financially. Matter of fact, you can go to marlamorale.com right now. You can get all your perfume, colognes, beard needs, silk do rags, silk scarves, uh, and much more. Just go on marlinmorality.com. Like I said, the link is in the description below. But with that being said, don't forget to like, 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 like. With that being said, I leave you in peace. And I'll see you on the other side.